Hey, what is going on guys? So today I'm going to be bringing you guys a quick, well relatively quick video on the new Twitter post that the Daisy team just uploaded today. It was actually I think like an hour ago and it's specifically to the console player so this applies to PS4 and Xbox players only and they're basically saying what the road ahead for Daisy is going to be like at least this year and it's a it's a decently long it's it's a pretty long post um i have the link in the description below if you guys just want to click that and just you know read it yourselves because i'm I, you know i'm not going to read everything word for word because i would just it would take a, a minute so um the first thing that they talk about is that the console updates will always happen after the pc updates so it would be within three to four weeks of each other the main reason for this lies with the specifics related to the console submission and review process it takes three to seven days for a submitted game to go through review if it is decided that the build is good to publish it takes three more days to roll the update out to the public however if there are any issues flagged as a must fix by sony or microsoft even the ones that could be fixed like within an hour or less the whole process has to start again so yeah they're just explaining why you know updates take forever to come out on console when it's already out on the pc um but how they do it now though is um they the, uh, the update rolls out on the pc version first like let's say 1.04 so they can find early glitches and fixes it's like a little test i guess so they can already have it fixed by the time it rolls out on xbox and ps4 so you know the process doesn't get delayed and you know instead of the update coming out this week it'd be next week or something like that but um just a quick update on the 1.04 update that's gonna come out for consoles guys just be aware that they're gonna do a complete server and character wipe but they're also gonna introduce private servers and it's gonna, they're gonna be addressing most of the um, issues in the game like duping, server hopping, and frame rate drops. So that's pretty good. And the, um, scrolling more down on the post, there they talk about how you know the old engine and you know some cool features that the Daisy mod had and and all that. They they can't have it on this game. Um, or the game that like on Daisy standalone that you know the current version right now because it's not stable and they're saying like it Daisy runs a lot smoother on this new engine right here that you know that they're using right now for this game currently so there's like a lot of features that they had to leave behind and all that but they also talk about just a little quick they give you like a little quick preview on you know what's what the plan is ahead is for Daisy, and they talk about the advanced health system, which um, they just say we we improved it in 1.04 and we'll continue the balancing. However, at this time we will not commit to implementing complex medical injury gameplay. While this is desired by many hardcore players, we are still struggling to fully explain the complexity of the existing system to the majority of players. Moving forward, we are working on a nice balance between authenticity and accessibility. So yeah, it's still not going to have that super realism, which I guess it's good for the majority of people that don't really know about Daisy or anything complex like that. But like, you know, it's it would still be nice to have. But, you know, I guess it's something that's going to come out in the future. They're going to have new content like guns, cars, etc. and all that. They're not they don't go deep into that saying what cars and what guns is going to come out. But it all depends if they can achieve this year's goal, you know. If they can achieve everything that they need to achieve now, then these updates will come, you know, won't be delayed. They are planning modding support. We will improve the user experience for both modders and players. For example, we will soon bring animation tool support and stable base building. A large part of this is a matter of balancing and it's one of our key objectives for the year. So Daisy's main focus for 2019 will be bug fixing stabilizing balancing and modding support so they also are planning to release an official dlc this year and they also want to experiment with a new game mode a modded game mode called survivor games that they want to bring to console and um besides that they just talk about um some of the dev team guys that are leaving the game because you know the game's been in the game came out like 2013 so you know some people obviously are going to want to move on to the next project or you know go to another studio or whatever but that's all i have for you guys i hope you guys enjoy this video 
and yeah just remember to click the link in the description below and let me know your opinion on everything what do you think about DayZ if you know they have a bright future ahead or you think the game's kind of done already